Morning, lovely viewer. Well, I'm not sure if you can see it, but that is a that's a sparrowhawk just down there, which is taken off. Oh, I've lost it. And it's just come down and and taken a bird that was that was on here on that cherry tree. We have a, a telegraph pole at the side of our house that way. And he sits there and he waits and he comes down and he um, he comes down and he, he gets his meal. But the reason why I'm, I'm putting this video out is because I haven't sprayed any of my roses this year. I know a lot of people do and will continue to do so. But there is a, there is a problem with these insecticides and pesticides in that many of them are poisons and they poison the insects. And then these small birds that you see, you see all my feeders here? The small birds, they, they eat these uh, little insects, green fly or whatever things are invading the roses. The small birds eat those. And then the small birds, they get sick from the poison. The insects get sick from the poison and die. And then the small birds eat the insects and, and they get sick and then they die. And um, we have got, I've been to the, um, we have like a, a wildlife retreat that treats these sick small birds. And I've taken, unfortunately I've been to that place many times with sick birds or dying birds. And then the sparrow hawks and the kestrels and the buzzards, they eat the smaller birds and then they get sick. It's all one ecosystem. And um, I just wanted to let people know that. People will not care. You know, people will be spraying their, their roses and their gardens with these insecticides and pesticides, putting down slug pellets and, and all sorts. And it will be keeping their garden clear of these pests. And if that's what if that's what people think, then then that is down to them. You know, we are all individuals. But there is a knock-on effect. There is a knock-on effect, and um, some of these insecticides and pesticides they are poisons, and they might kill the slugs, but then other animals eat the slugs and then they become sick and then they die and then it goes up the food chain. You see there's a there's a nut hatch on that cherry tree at the moment. You know we've spent a, a fair amount of time turning this, this garden into a more of a wildlife habitat and it is it is working. I can remember last winter when the snow was on the ground, <laughs> we spent an awful lot of money and time clearing the snow and, and putting bird food down for them and they were coming from far and wide. And it is, a, it is an ecosystem out there. And the other thing that I want to say, this, um, you know, green flight, I saw, let's go outside in fact, let's go outside. I have seen green fly on my on my roses. Let me just put my shoes on. Last year, on several occasions, and the green fly would be there, and I, I wouldn't touch them. And then a few days later, the green fly would all be gone, and there there was no damage. There was no damage to my roses, and I don't. I'm not saying that green fly green fly don't damage roses because I, I know they do but we can only talk from our own experiences and last year um, throughout the summer the spring the summer I didn't see any damage from green fly they would literally come and go and the new growth that is is meant to be targeted it um, it was perfectly fine you see here we've got many tits so yeah I just wanted to put this um, 
put this message out and then as individuals we can we can make our own choice but i'll show you the um so here's some more feeders here we come out here each day i mean it is it is a uh, a pain and it's costly as well doing doing this but that there is where the sparrowhawk sits and he waits and then he comes down here he flies down here and he he takes his meal which is a bit savage i know but man's got to eat see there's a nut hatch on there again just at the moment so yeah i just wanted to put this this message out and then we can then we can decide from there many people won't care of course that's 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 down to us as individuals like i say but i i think that maybe some people are unaware that these poisons can go up the food chain so i just wanted to i just wanted to put this out right i hope everyone is having a great day cheers lovely viewer